Cusco is a magical city filled with rich history and magnificent natural beauty. It is located in the Huantane River Valley in Peru's southeastern Andes. Cusco lies approximately 3,400 meters above sea level and thus ranks among the world's highest cities. Founded more than 3,000 years ago, it is considered the oldest existing city in the Americas. Cusco is a mestizo and colonial city with splendid churches and palaces built upon foundations of elaborately carved stone. The Church of Santo Domingo was built upon the foundations of the most important Inca monument, the Coricancha, which was the largest Indian temple dedicated to the worship of the sun. The Baroque Church of Santo Domingo pales next to the fine stone masonry of the Incas, the main attraction of this site. The combined sacred sites of Coricancha and Santo Domingo Church vividly illustrate ancient Andean culture's collision with Western Europe. The temple of one culture sits atop and encloses the other. The church's facade is in the Spanish style, while its bell tower reflects the maturity of the Cusco Baroque. Major earthquakes have severely damaged the church, but the Inca stone walls, built out of huge, tightly interlocking blocks of stone, still stand as a testimony to their superb architectural skills and sophisticated stone masonry. Inca stonemasons were renowned for their ability to join stone without mortar or precision tools to build walls that have lasted through the centuries. The stones at the base are generally bigger or have a larger volume than the stones at the top, thus the walls are wider at the base than at the top. Moreover, the classic form of Incan architecture is the trapezoid, which gives the building stability and a sense of balance. The Incas built their walls with huge boulders carved to fit together perfectly without the use of mortar. The larger stones that form the walls of Incan buildings generally display two high-relief carvings or moldings in the lower part of their faces. Prior to building, the Incas made sketches or models of the planned construction in scale with a measurement system based on anthropometry, that is, the measurements are related to those of the human body arms, elbows, feet, steps, spans, etc. Unfortunately, none of these designs have survived. Questions exist regarding how the stones were fitted together so precisely. Various hypotheses have been put forward, the most feasible of which suggest that the construction work was carried out extremely slowly but efficiently. After the first row of stones had been carefully laid, each successive row was more complex because the stones had to fit laterally with the lowest junctures. After the Spanish conquered the Inca territory, they took a large quantity of rock from the walls of the Inca temples in order to build churches in the region of Cusco. These sturdy walls that can be found along some of Cusco's streets are the foundations of buildings built by the Spanish. These narrow streets are a source of endless fascination. The facades of many houses in Cusco are adorned with magnificent wood balconies, elaborately carved in the unique style of the Cusco Baroque. Cusco's main square is the Plaza of San Francisco. This square reveals a fascinating mixture of people and customs, history and traditions, a meeting of two cultures, European and American.
At the other end of the large esplanade rise the strong lines of the Church and Convent of San Francisco. Built by the Franciscans in 1645 on the site of an Incan temple, the Church of San Francisco was seriously damaged by the earthquake in 1650. Cusco Central Market, located west of the Plaza de Armas, near the San Pedro train station, is a vibrant spot. Cusco's market is a sprawling bazaar where every kind of spices and vegetables and a dizzying array of animal parts are displayed alongside piles of old hardware. Rows of tables are crammed with diners eating heaping plates of ceviche, one of Peru's most famous delicacies. The sweet smell of fruit lining both sides of the central aisle slowly gives way to the lunch stands on one side and cheese, seafood, bread and vegetables on the other. The market offers a dazzling variety of smells, colors, and sounds. The market also has a wide range of daytime stalls serving hot food where you can get takeaway food, if you have a container to put it in, or eat on the spot. Cusco's main square was called the Huacay Pacta Square during the time of the Incas, or the Square of the Warrior. It was the setting of various important events in the history of Cusco, including the annual Inti Remi, or Festival of the Sun. The first cathedral in Cusco was built in 1539 in the Sunturuazi, and was known at the time as the Church of Victory. Later, between the years 1560 and 1664, a new cathedral was constructed on the site of Kizvarkancha, the palace of Incan Emperor Viracocha. The cathedral's facade is in the highly ornamental Renaissance style. It contains superb examples of colonial goldworking and wood carving, as well as a valuable collection of canvases from the Academy of Cusco. Not far from the cathedral on Cusco's main square rises the Church of the Society of Jesus, which rivals the cathedral in grandeur and importance. Construction on the Jesuit church began in 1576, on the site of the Amaro Cancha, or the Palace of the Inca Huayna Capac. It is considered one of the best examples of colonial Baroque architecture in America. The facade, entirely composed of carved stones, is spectacular. The square was transformed with the arrival of the Spanish. The building's facades were soon decorated with heraldries, mullioned windows, and balconies of Mudejar or Moorish origin. These changes represented not just radical architectonical alterations, but also symbols of a different style of life and new social functions. The story of how pre-Columbian buildings were rehabilitated by the Spanish conquerors is one of the most fascinating chapters of Latin America's urban history. The stone arches, as well as many of the other edifices that still line the square, were built during that period. The square is surrounded by a beautiful arcade that was constructed during the conquest. Avenida El Sol, the Sun Avenue, is Cusco's main street. Many hotels, banks, and public buildings are situated there. Along Avenida El Sol stands a statue of the Inca warrior, King Pachacuta. Ruins, museums, churches, palaces, and a wide variety of architectural styles make Cusco a showcase for the various cultures and periods of Peru's history, pre-Inca, Inca, colonial, and republican. It is also the gateway to Machu Picchu. Many of Cusco's cobblestone streets have survived and offer a glimpse of its past. Many now form the current foundations of more modern buildings and colonial mansions. Many of the streets are too steep or narrow for cars to pass through. Since the city is quite hilly, stairs often replace streets.
The materials used to build the houses of Cusco are typical of the area. Houses were built onto the ancient Inca wall. Made of andesite and trachyte stones, excavated from quarries near the city, the houses had a second floor made of adobe. Apart from the adobe or mud wall, already known to native builders, the Spanish introduced bricks to Peru, which were used particularly in the facades and arches of the patios. Wood, though scarce in this area, was frequently used for balconies. One of the best known streets, lined with impressive Inca stonework of the kind usually reserved for temples and royal residences. San Blas Slope is a beautiful narrow street that climbs a hill. The street opens up onto San Blas Square, from which a spectacular panorama over Cusco can be had. San Blas is considered Cusco's bohemian neighborhood. On a little square in the San Blas neighborhood stands the Church of San Blas, a simple adobe church that is considered one of the jewels of colonial art in the Americas. The Church of San Blas was erected on the hill with the same name, in the middle of a neighborhood famous for its artisans. The current Church of San Blas was completely reconstructed after the earthquake of 1650, though it still maintains the typical physiognomy of the Indian parish churches built during the time of the Viceroy Toledo. High above the city, along one of the central mountains for all the world to see, is the proud inscription, Viva el Peru. Erected in 1536 and rebuilt in 1680 after the great earthquake, the Iglesia de la Merced ranks just below Cusco's Cathedral and the Jesuit Church in importance. Pope Pius XII granted the church the title of Minor Basilica in 1946. The religious order of mercedaries who had the church built was founded in 1223 by St. Peter Nolasco as a missionary order. The convent's cloister is the most beautiful and surprising in the complex. Square in layout, it has two floors of arcades composed of thick rectangular pillars with finely carved Corinthian columns on their front sides. This magnificent ornamental work is sculpted out of andesite stone. The cloister's principal decoration consists of a pictorial cycle dating from the second half of the 17th century and depicts events in the life of St. Peter Nolasco, the founder of the missionary order. The paintings are anonymous, although they have been ascribed to Jerónimo de Málaga. The church's crypt shelters the remains of two famous conquistadors, Diego de Amagro and Gonzalo Pizarro. Founded over 3,000 years ago, Cusco is considered the oldest city in the Americas. Different opinions exist regarding the city's first inhabitants. One theory is that the Sawaziras, Antasayas, and Wallace tribes initially inhabited the valley. According to Inca legend, the city was founded by the great Inca leaders Manco Cuapac and Pachacutec. None of these theories has been proved, but there is a significant amount of archaeological evidence supporting the city's claims to antiquity.
After the Spanish first arrived in the city on November 15, 1533, Francisco Pizarro refounded the city for the Spanish king on March 23, 1534. In 1536, the Inca Emperor Manco Inca began a long and bloody war against the Spanish invaders, culminating in a siege on the city that lasted over eight months. Finally, in 1572, after a war that lasted 36 years, Tupac Amaru I, the last emperor of the Inca dynasty, was defeated, captured, and executed in the city's main square. The Spanish subsequently destroyed many of the Inca structures in the city, or used them as foundations for many of their own churches and buildings. The history of Cusco has a unique identity that extends beyond the legacy left in the andesite stones carved by the Incas. Cusco has been recognized around the world for its enormous cultural and historical significance. In 1978, it was declared a cultural heritage of the world by the seventh convention of great worldwide cities that took place in Milan, Italy. In 1983, Cusco became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city of Cusco is a testament to the survival of indigenous culture, resulting in striking contrasts and blends of centuries of architecture, religion, and nature. Churches and monasteries, ancient ruins of Incan spiritual centers, colonial palaces, and military garrisons are all woven into the fabric of Cusco, lending a unique and unparalleled quality to the city and its surrounding area. One of the most imposing architectonic complexes inherited from the Incan civilization is the Fortress of Sacsayhuaman, which ranks among the most important monuments ever built by mankind. With over 200 archaeological sites, Sacsayhuaman covers a surface area of more than 3,000 hectares on the edge of the northern slope of the city of Cusco. It is said to have taken a crew of 20,000 to 30,000 men working for 60 years to build Sacsayhuaman and was likely completed in the early years of the 16th century. A spectacular fortress built of massive sculpted rocks jointed with remarkable precision, this astounding example of Incan military architecture is undoubtedly the greatest architectonic work of the Tahuantinsuyo Empire. Beyond the technical prowess involved, Sacsayhuaman displays the great administrative abilities of the Inca Empire as well as a powerful logistical system capable of mobilizing and organizing such a colossal work. It is not entirely clear why the Incas constructed a fortress at that particular site, especially since at the moment of its construction, they did not face any major threats. Evident aesthetic factors, such as the harmony between architecture and landscape, may have factored in Sacsayhuaman's construction. Its construction took over seven decades and required the labor of at least 20,000 men. Work was divided between laying the foundation, transporting materials, and carving and setting the stones. Hewn stones could have been located at Muina, Huacoto, and Rumicolca, 20 kilometers away from Cusco, as well as in nearer sites such as Salu, Rumi, Chita, Curovilca, and Viracocha. 
Some of the external walls of the fortress tower over 9 meters in height and weigh more than 350 tons. The rows of stones of the three zigzagging megalithic walls represent the teeth of the puma, while the circular shaped tower at the summit of the hill represents its eye. The stones fit so perfectly that a blade of grass or paper cannot be slid between them. Their complex and irregular surfaces are joined without the use of mortar in what must have been a nearly superhuman trial for the stonemasons who put them together. Several doors communicate between the different levels through staircases. The Inca stonemasons searched nearby rock slides for blocks of stones that would suit their purposes. The raw blocks were often partially shaped at the quarry or during transportation, while the final fitting and dressing of the stones occurred at the work site. The rough shaping of stones was accomplished by two main techniques. Wedges could be driven into small holes, such as those pecked into a natural groove at the base of the ramp leading up to Temple 1, in order to split the stone. The other method of roughly shaping stone was to simply carve a collar around the stone until the unwanted portion broke off. This worked on any area of the stone and could be achieved without a naturally occurring fissure. Several large stones lying at the base of a large ramp leading up to the temple are called the tired stones. The best accepted theory about how the Inca dressed the stones is that they used hammer stones to shape the blocks. Large hammer stones were used to rough the blocks and smaller stones were used to finish and smooth the blocks. When the Spanish conquerors first arrived in the land of the Incas, they could not explain how the Peruvian Indians, as they called them, could have built such a masterpiece. Their preconceived notions led them to believe that the Incas must have been helped by demons or other evil spirits. Even today, many people doubt the ability of the ancient Quechas to create such a wonder and suggest that it was built by extraterrestrial beings with superior technology. History and archaeology prove that Sacsayhuaman and the other wonders of the Inca civilization are undoubtedly the work of the Incas. Thanks to an end as yet unexplained precision in stone cutting, the structure is built in such a way that a single piece of paper will not fit between two stones. This precision combined with the rounded corners of the limestone blocks, the variety of their interlocking shapes, and the way the walls lean inward, ubiquitous in Inca architecture, is thought to increase the ruins' incredible durability. The Spanish harvested a large quantity of rock from the walls of the structure to build churches in Cusco, which is why the walls are in perfect condition up to a certain height and missing above that point. Ora 
In the centuries following the Spanish conquest of Mexico and Peru, most Native Americans were at least nominally converted to Catholicism. The blending of Native and Catholic beliefs was a complicated process, and it followed different courses in different areas. In general, the Aztecs made Catholicism the core of a new religion that also incorporated Native beliefs, while the Mayas retained Native beliefs as the core of their religion and added Catholic elements. The capital of the Inca Empire, Cusco combines the ancient city, the colonial additions, and the modern buildings and infrastructure in a splendid reflection of the culture and tradition of the sophisticated Inca civilization.